of Hawaii's historical and cultural attractions are struggling, many relying on donations. But the latest shutdown has some worried for the future. Nikki Shenfeld explains. Some of Oahu's oldest and historic buildings are facing uncertain times. Iolani Palace was struggling after the first shutdown. Residents helped support the palace this summer with memberships and donations, but the latest shutdown is a blow. It feels like Groundhog Day. You know, it's like it's all over again. It's it's closed, and you know we weren't we weren't getting enough income in during that time to pay all of our bills. She says they could run out of funds by April. I'm, I'm afraid of the loss of momentum because we were really it was really exciting to see all of our Hawaii people coming to the palace. The State Foundation on Culture and Arts says it'll distribute CARES funding on September 1st. So the State Foundation did receive $427,500 in CARES um, that will be going out, um, very needed, and that's for jobs, for keeping the lights on. We did a survey and there was a $9 million need um, for a three month period for the cultural institutions that, that participated in that survey statewide. He says electricity is the biggest financial stressor on places like Iolani Palace and the Bishop Museum, where more than 25 million historic items are stored. Um, all the stuff that the visitors don't see behind the house, behind, uh, behind the scenes is really um, artifacts, uh, treasures from the monarchy, archival materials, holotype specimens, and all of that does have to be kept in 24-7 um, in environmentally controlled spaces. Hawaii's oldest theater is in much more trouble. The Hawaii Theater Center has not been able to open since the pandemic began. We've had zero ticket revenue uh, since February of 2020. It's been absolutely devastating for us. Theaters have no time frame on when they can reopen to the public, so the theater has been staying afloat with live streaming shows and donations. Uh, we've lost over $6 million so far this year in revenues. Iolani Palace and Bishop Museum say they are beginning to shift to virtual tours. To find out how you can help, go to khon2.com. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.